Many of you are going to want to purchase a new construction home in a master plan community in Florida, but there's a lot to consider when doing so. In this video, we're going to discuss the current situation, types of home builders, buying tips and pros and cons to new construction homes. These days, some of the best deals can be found in new construction homes. Many builders are offering all sorts of incentives to get more people to buy. And this is such a paradigm shift from earlier this year when homes in new construction communities were selling like hotcakes. People were flocking in from all over the place to buy them. And so what happened in the beginning of the year is that builders consistently raised their prices, sometimes on a bi-weekly basis because, well, they could. But at one point, the party was over and due to inflation and the fast increasing mortgage interest rates, a lot of buyers can no longer afford to purchase a home and many of them are waiting to see what happens, right, with the real estate market. And so buyer demand sold quite a bit over the summertime. Some builders were left with a surplus of homes, including spec homes, which are built in anticipation of buyer demand. So currently the inventory versus demand imbalance is much higher with new builds in new construction communities versus existing homes in the market. And that's why some of the best incentives are with new construction homes these days. And you don't have to worry about long waiting lists anymore or bidding wars. Some communities don't even have waiting lists anymore. Let's talk about the types of home builders there are by the types of homes they offer. So there are three main types, which include production, custom, and semi-custom home builders. Production developers typically build a community of very similar looking homes. And some people may actually refer to these homes as cookie cutter homes. Production homes are derived from a selection of floor plans that only offer very limited personalization options. Though you won't have additional floor plan choices, you can still add your personal touches by selecting the lot to build on, the type of floor plan that makes the most sense for you, and some structural and design upgrades. Now the benefit of production homes is that they're typically less expensive and much, much faster to build. And that's because supply of raw material is sourced in volume and less buying decision making is required with these types of homes. Often production developers will also have ready move in homes available for purchase. So an example for production builder is Thea Horton and Lennar. Now, if you didn't want to go with a cookie cutter home, so to say, you could go with a custom home, which can either be built on your own land or sometimes custom builders are available to build in certain communities as well. Builders who offer custom homes really focus on providing you with a one-of-a-kind home based on your budget, desires, and lifestyle. Typically, an architect will create a custom design for the client. Sometimes, for inspiration, a client will have models to refer to and then can make a lot of adjustments with the builder's architect. Now, custom homes, as you can only imagine, are gonna take much more time to build, are way more expensive, and typically more stressful to deal with because you're gonna be making so many more decisions along the way. An example of a custom builder is John Cannon, Arthur Ruttenberg, and Lee Witherton. Semi-custom homes are in between custom and production homes. There are different degrees of semi-custom home builders, but I would say in general, semi-custom homes offer home styles and pre-existing floor plans that are way more customizable than with production homes. Changes can include updating the layout by adding a second floor, for example, or an additional room, or maybe you wanna extend the lanai area. You're also gonna have way more design and structural update options. Semi-custom home builders typically also offer much more detailed detail in their craftsmanship and higher end finishes. A semi-custom home is a great option if going custom is either too expensive or seems too stressful to tackle, but yet you still want a home that is more distinctive than a production home. Tool Brothers and Coulter are a good example of a semi-custom builder. The process of finding and purchasing a home in a new construction community can feel somewhat overwhelming. And that starts with finding the right location. So where I live, in and around Sarasota, there are many master plan communities to pick from, such as Lakewood Ranch, Palmer Ranch, and Welland Park. Learning these master plan communities can take some time, especially if you're new to the area. And each one of these master plan communities has sub-communities with different builders and homeowners associations. So if you're new to the area, just learning all this information and finding the right community can be exhausting. I love guiding my clients based on their expressed interests and my knowledge of all the communities. And so my recommendation to you is work with a bias agent to help you through the entire process, starting with finding the right location to explore. You might think I'll just work with the builder's agent. Well, the builder's agent is there to sell homes 
and they're representing the builder, not you. I'll give you an example. I had a situation where a virtual buyer almost bought a lot that was presented to him by the builder's agent, but the lot itself was close to a very busy road and so it was loud there. And I knew that the buyer was somewhat noise sensitive because it was mentioned to me. So that option wasn't a good option for the buyer. And I pointed that noise factor out to the buyer when I went to the site to inspect it and I brought in the buyer virtually. He agreed with me, he decided against it, and after a few weeks, went under contract for a house in a much better location. So what are all the things that a buyer's agent will do for you? They can explain the neighborhoods and differences of the communities to you. They can tour them with you. They'll be able to point out the differences between the builders from a structural and design perspective. There's a lot of insights that you're going to gain from a buyer's agent that is specialized in new construction communities. Once you've chosen a community, your buyer's agent is going to be there as a sounding board and will also provide you advice and tips throughout the new construction process that will save you time and money. Now for you buyers who are not in the area, your agent can help monitor the new construction process and keep an eye out for you as well. They'll be able to connect you to trusted professionals such as a mortgage or insurance broker, maybe a home inspector, or a real estate attorney as need arises. Here's what you need to know. If you choose to work with a buyer's agent, and I really recommend that you do that because you're only gaining using a buyer's agent, you will need to make sure that your agent goes with you to the new construction community the first time you visit. If you go on your own and you make initial contact with the community, it is very likely that your agent will not be able to represent you anymore. Sometimes registering your agent with a call ahead to the community works, but most of the time I would say it probably won't. So make sure you tour the communities with the buyer's agent present and have fun along the way. Now, what is really confusing to some buyers is the advertised price for new homes. Many of you are gonna be checking the prices on the builder's websites. And some of you are gonna assume that those are out the door prices but they're typically not unless it specifically says so. So make sure you read the fine lines. And yes, those are really hard to find sometimes because the builder wants you to go there to check out the models. Usually builders will just list the base price. For example, you may see an ad that says single family home started $600,000. This is just the base price and does not include any lot structural design upgrades. The price is gonna increase as soon as you add those in. So for example, a Lakeview could add in another $50,000 to $100,000 to the base price of the home. Structural design upgrades could add another 30% of the base price. That's on average. Add a pool, that could be an additional $100,000. So an advertised base price of $600,000 could easily turn into a $950,000 home with the upgrades, lake view, and a pool. Also, you're gonna to want to factor in all the other costs associated with the purchase of the home so you know what you're getting yourself into financially to ensure that you can truly afford purchasing this new construction home. So for example, closing costs could add an additional two to 5% of the home price. Then add HOA fees, which are homeowners association fees, which are very typical in new construction communities. Some new communities will also have CDD fees, which stands for community development district fees. Now lastly, property taxes are usually higher with new construction homes and can take new home buyers by surprise. So make sure you have a good understanding what these taxes are gonna be. Now, if a mortgage broker were to estimate the taxes in the Sarasota Manatee County region, they would likely use a 1.25% of the purchase price plus any CDD fees which are passed through property taxes if applicable for that community. Now, just like anything else in life, there's some pros and cons of new construction homes that I wanna make sure you're thinking through. So let's start off with pros. New construction homes are built to the latest building codes, which is one of the strictest in the nation, right? Because of all the tropical storms and hurricanes we have here. For example, the code mandates that new homes be able to withstand hurricane force winds and have shutters or impact resistant glass. Unless you bought a spec home or a move-in ready home, you're able to customize the home to your liking with the design and colors of your choices. A new home will need far less maintenance and repairs and typically comes with a home warranty. Many of the new construction homes are in communities that offer vast amenities, which could include an amenity center, tennis courts, pickleball courts, swimming pools, and a gym. A lot of these communities are resort style living, right? It's like being out on a vacation. I also hear that it is easier to make friends in a new community because everyone is open and friendly because they're also searching for their circle of friends. Now, 
There's cons as well that I want you to think about. The home builder may say it will take eight to 10 months to build a new home, but these days it is not uncommon for the build time to be closer to one and a half years or even longer due to the labor and supply shortages. So if the home builder is saying it's gonna take eight to 10 months, I would take that with a grain of salt. Over the last 10 to 20 years, there's been a trend to building new homes on much smaller lots, right? Because it makes it more affordable for the home buyer, but also home builders can develop way more homes in a set community. But if you want more privacy, or maybe you've been dreaming about having a large lawn for your dogs or kids to run around in, maybe a better option is going to be looking for an existing home that offers a larger property. Lots of buyers do not think about this and don't realize this until it's too late until they purchase the home. It can take years for a new construction community to be fully developed. So if you're one of the first ones to move in, say it's in phase one of construction, you're gonna be dealing with construction trucks and developments for months or even years to come. Plus, you don't really know what the feel of the community is gonna be until the community is built out. When you buy into an older community, you know exactly what you're getting because it's all said and done. New communities also have far less vegetation, typically less mature trees, which could make the area look a bit devoid of character. At least that's what some people say. What do you think? What are your pros and cons of new construction homes? Leave us a comment below. Now, if you're interested in new builds in the Sarasota Manatee County area, I would love to team up with you and provide you with guidance throughout the entire process. I also have a lot of material that's going to help you understand the differences between the communities and also the differences between the builders. Now, if you're interested in the Lakewood Ranch master plan community, which is also the number one multi-gen selling community in the United States, so chances are you may be interested in it, check out this video here, which is going to give you a lot of information. Thank you so much for spending time today with me. I always appreciate when you do. I'll see you in my next video. Bye.